The pathologist who conducted the second autopsy on Drew Peterson's ex-wife says her death was not the result of an accidental fall. Dr. Larry Bloom testified today at a pretrial hearing to determine how much hearsay evidence will be admitted at Peterson's trial for the murder of Kathleen Savio. ABC 7's Evelyn Holmes has more. Dr. Larry Bloom testified Kathleen Savio's injuries point to her murder. The noted forensic pathologist, who says he's conducted over 9,000 autopsies, told the court today Savio's injuries, psychological history, the position of her body when she was found, along with the scene of her death, led him to rule out accidental drowning or suicide. While on the stand, Will County State's Attorney James Glasgow asked Bloom, was Kathleen Savio's death a homicide? Dr. Bloom replied, that is my opinion. It was homicidal. Bloom conducted a second autopsy after Savio's body was exhumed. Savio's body was found in a dry bathtub March 1st of 2004 in her Bolingbrook home. Authorities reclassified Savio's death from an accidental slip and fall to a murder after the October 2007 disappearance of Drew Peterson's fourth wife, Stacy. A 56-year-old Peterson now faces first-degree murder charges in Savio's death, but he has not been charged in Stacy's disappearance. The testimony comes during the landmark hearsay hearing where a judge will decide if prosecutors can use hearsay statements as evidence at Drew Peterson's murder trial. The proceedings began this morning with the testimony of Mary Parks. She's a former nursing classmate of Kathleen Savio. Parks told the court Savio feared for her life. Even after their divorce, Peterson and Savio had been engaged in a bitter dispute over money and custody of their two children. Drew Peterson's defense attorney, Andrew Abood, painted Savio as stressed and bitter and also highlighted inconsistency in Park's testimony, getting her to admit Kathy was mad because Drew was with the younger woman. After calling dozens of witnesses, Will County prosecutors could be just days away from calling their last witness. Drew Peterson's defense team will have their opportunity to present their witnesses. They haven't said how many they'll call, if any at all. Reporting from the Will County Courthouse here in Joliet, Evelyn Holmes, ABC 7 News.